Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are at peace. We got a lot of territory away from the uh, League of Non-Aligned Powers, and we did not manage to lose any territory. So that's great. They've still got a couple of arguable exclaves. There's this one here. There's an inarguable exclave if I don't go into this system. There's an inarguable exclave here. So that is definitely something that we want to target. We're going to need to save up our influence for claims. Oh, there's an exclave over here as well. So those are all things that we want to go after in the next war. The Rontor sect as well, most likely. But for right now, there's a number of things we need to do. First off, we are moving all of our fleets back to Haven Sky. And we need to fix our food situation, which we will go ahead and cancel our food order, as well as, for right now, all of our orders. I want to see what our baseline economy looks like. So we're going to cancel all of those orders. And we need 240,000 alloys. <laughs> that's, um, that's a lot. And we need to think about our defensive situation still. I mean, we're still making defense platforms in some of these. So that's, that's definitely a thing. That's, that's still ongoing. I didn't cancel all of them. Some of them were canceled. For sure. But not all of them were cancelled. Now they're claiming our systems, that's to be expected. Let's go through and see what we've got job-wise here. We definitely want to make any jobs that are available. And it looks like there are some. These are our new worlds here. So first things first. And we can see what our default economy looks like. Okay. So first things first, we need to get these terraforming. Now, this is a Gaia world. We can't terraform that. But we can terraform this desert world. This is already ocean and ocean. And then this one is an arid world that needs to go to an ocean world as well. Cool. Terraform the galaxy. So, this is currently set up as an urban world. It's really lacking in housing as well as jobs. To that end, it's not a great generator world. It's got an admin office for some reason. I, I don't know what that reason might be. We do have access to a Batharian power plant here. So we're going to put that in. And we're going to put in an energy grid as well. We uh, need to select over here for that. And then we're just going to put in five generator districts for now. This will not solve the housing issue. But this will get us ten housing. And then we're going to build, I think, some three city districts for now. That would be, what, 24? So that would be a total of 34 housing. Okay. So that would then be 42. That's the number of city districts that we need. Okay. So we'll get that underway. That said, do we have... Uh, no, we don't have devastation here, do we? We didn't really bombard anything. So this agro world here is in much the same situation. This one would also be an okay generator world. And we're going to go ahead and put in an energy grid and a bunch of generator districts. There we go. That should actually solve the housing on its own, I think. Uh, this is what, nine? So that'll be 18. Yes, that will solve that on its own. Will it solve the housing situation, or rather the unemployment situation? Maybe not, but we'll get that underway. This urban world here, it's got plenty of housing. It needs jobs. We could repair this sky dome. Now we can't build sky domes of our own. So we could put in a Cider Revitalization Center. And I'm thinking about putting in two city districts, not for the housing, but to open up these building slots. And we'll just do something like that for now. This is set up as a forge world. We've got Dimensional Fabricator here, a nutriment, or rather a nourishment center, an admin park, admin complex, an admin complex. Okay. So this is not completely ideal. We're not going to repair this admin complex, I don't think. Actually, we have to. We can't replace it. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll go ahead and get that underway. On Taken here, a research institute and a bunch of advanced research complexes. I guess we'll get that all underway for now. And then on Bedutok, 
Well, we can definitely put in Alloy Mega Forges here. I wouldn't mind dropping these gas extraction wells and replacing this with a Ministry of Production. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we can see we're pretty negative on our energy credits at this moment. That will likely change. They want to establish an embassy? Sure. That will likely change as we get our fleets back home. But the question is by how much? And we'll find that out. We, of course, need to continue reinforcing our fleets. We are short 240,000 alloys for that. We'll go ahead and hit the Reinforce All button and get some of those alloys distributed. Of course, our monthly gain is going to go up as we arrive back over here as well, because we're going to get reduced upkeep. So that'll be fine. Why is this flashing at us? Is it just repairs finishing? Perhaps. Okay. Foreign empires are indeed claiming our system. This is very expected. <laughs> Extraordinarily expected, in fact. Rising unemployment will go ahead and institute increased benefits. That'll be fine. So we've got about 10 months worth of energy credits right now. Okay. That's concerning, to be sure. How many of our fleets are not back in our capital? Just the Topaz. They will arrive here shortly. Here in about 30 days. So that'll be fine. We're going to work on our monthly gain here as well. Now, one thing we might want to do is take a look at edicts. And I believe there's a maintenance reduction. I mean, we don't necessarily want to be running desperate measures anymore. Uh, let's see here. A grand fleet is ship upkeep reduction. So we're going to run that. Now, that does give us enough naval cap to potentially make an additional several fleets. And we probably want to do that looking at our power projection. We grow ever strong. So that'll be a thing. We're getting three energy credits over here. It's not a big deal, but there we go. Now, for the moment, I don't think we have much for this construction ship to do. I'm going to actually save the energy credits by disbanding it. We're down to only 460. That's not bad. Okay, so garrisoning our fleets like that makes a big difference. There's no doubt about it. We will continue to reinforce our fleets. And we're making 3,500 now. Very nice. We also get a tech, and what tech is that? High density munitions. Okay, sure. I mean, minerals from jobs isn't super important, but we are at peace right now, and we may as well grab it. We are maxed on minerals, so we absolutely want to sell off all of the minerals we can. Cool. So we're going to need to go through our bastions and verify that each of them are still necessary. This one is because it's protecting an Elgate. This one is protecting a gateway, which I think is necessary because of this wormhole in Trob. Although, we could move it. So we could downgrade this citadel and have it go here instead. And I think that's a better location for it. So we'll do that. And the Suscat's Maw is guarding an Elgate. Enigma's End is guarding an Elgate. Zilbox so Maw guarding an Elgate. Light's End Elgate. We're guarding a border here. Elgate. Border. This is just a gateway. So this one is no longer necessary. We'll get rid of that. The XT941 Singularity is uh, necessary. We're, we're working on that one still. Devasa is a border. Bartiam is actually no longer necessary. There we go. I believe we already checked Devasa. That's a border. Astrikian is a border. Amadioha is protecting this wormhole, but this was really built when the Dustican unity was still important. It no longer is. So we're going to downgrade that one. Now, keep in mind, we're keeping the defensive platforms in these locations. And... That's costing us quite a lot. So we should actually disband all in those locations. So we need to try to remember where all of those were. There's Bartiam here. 
get rid of all of those. But for now, we'll call that good, and we'll just remember to do that later on. I mean, those will probably be lost in the next war, so that's, that's probably okay. Lemsa is... Not really a border station. I feel like these can be consolidated and downgraded. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll get rid of all of these defense platforms as well. Uh, no, decline that. We'll get rid of all these defense platforms as well. There we go. And the dim station as well. So we'll disband these defense platforms and downgrade that citadel. Now, we're going to want to defend in this location. We'll get that going. And then we're going to, going to want to defend here. In Thuban. In Dongol. And in Azax. Now, this is not really ideal in terms of Starbase Cap, but that'll do for now. Now, the Burzoon Station is on the border. Halix is on the border as well. Obviously, terminal egress we have to maintain. Border. 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 Although this one's not connected into our trade network. So we could go ahead and fix that. There we go. Okay, so that was the Tirim station. Uh, Tirim. This one. There we go. Permathrios is a border station. Theglin is a border station. Hidialara border, Roskan border, Abaka border, Tremus is border, Unith is border, Arantok is border, Nitris is border, Ulkad is still border, Rakarin is needing to be connected to our trade network. So I guess we'll do that. But that is a border station. The Istrum station also needs to connect to the trade network. So, that's a little awkward there, I guess. So, this would go to just, like, Haven Sky. There we go. And then Ishram would go to Strom. Cool. Grumium is a border station. Earl is a border station. Oh, I didn't notice the seven minerals there. We'll come back to that. Coder is quite unnecessary now. We don't have any defense platforms there, so we'll get rid of that. And realistically, we're probably not going to defend against this area. I'm not adding new stations really right now, so we'll we'll hold off on that for the moment. Ulrike here is very unnecessary. That can be downgraded. There's no defense platforms there. And now we're in trade hubs. Okay, we're going to keep our trade hubs for the time being, although this trade hub is not currently connected to our trade network, which is a little bit odd. But okay, we will connect that in via, yeah, that wormhole. Okay, so that'll do just fine. We will connect this to Haven Sky. Right? We are connected. Wait, what? Driftmax Station. I had the wrong one selected. Okay, go to Trebano, I think. Yeah, that'll be fine, I guess. Cool. Okay, so the Pulgara Station is also disconnected. We should connect that one into, say, Tirum. Any others that are disconnected? Yes, Aludra. So this one can be connected in just to Strom. There we go. Kehenes can be connected in as well to Aludra. What else do we got? I believe that's all of them. Okay, cool. So we will proceed on forward then. And I don't think that we have any real uh, work to be done jobs-wise. No, we don't. So that's fine. We will continue to work on our alloy deficit for right now. I'd like to get this alloy deficit dealt with before we really start work on some of our other locations, our defensive platforms. 
So for the time being, we're going to queue up a, a construction ship here, since we apparently need one. I didn't realize that Fulaz had that uh, seven minerals there, but we're going to go grab that quick. Well, we can. And I guess we'll keep a construction ship around. It costs what? Like one energy credit per month, I think? It's not a big deal. So that'll be just fine. We are almost down below 200,000 alloy deficit. Be nice if we were, but we're not. So we're going to head over to Fulaz. That'll take a little while to get there. That's fine. We're in no rush. We're not going to bother jump driving. Okay, so we don't really want to spend alloys right now on these additional star bases. Although we should think about where we might want additional defenses. Most of our defenses are still built. The AI was really reluctant to attack these bases that were like 300k. We're full on minerals. We'll... I bought minerals. We're going to sell minerals. <laughs> there we go. That was a complete and total waste. But we're good there. So yeah, this area here, this would require a lot of defensive stations. One, two, three, four, five, six defensive stations to defend against these five systems. I think we're just going to attack these five systems. That's not a concern. We grow so we know that we're stronger. guarded over here. Again, we're probably just going to... Well, we are working on defense platforms here. Okay, let's go ahead and make a few over here. We know we've got some that we can make. We're probably going to go over, but I'm going to just get these started. So we're going to put one in Kasora. One in Izak. That's an interstellar assembly. There we go. And then one in Paya. Uh, pops are declining due to excessive overcrowding on Betatok. We're working on it, although not anymore. Okay. So we're going to put in alloy nano plants here, but we... Why do they have excessive overcrowding here? We have 15 available housing. That seems weird. Okay, whatever. I'm going to assume that that's not actually happening. So, we were in... Let's see here. Paya we got, I believe. Yes. So, Gindix is one that would need to be upgraded. Hypothetically. It, it doesn't cost us that much to do this. This is only 50 alloys each. And I want to see what our actual numbers will end up looking like if we defend, like, everywhere. So, we'll put a starport here. A starport here. Like, this is going to be fairly expensive, but that's raw skin. Okay, so that's this area surrounded. Now, we know we've got everything over here. We're not caring really about Cowhig for the moment. So we'd have to get three here. I think once again, this is, this is a setup where we would just go after getting these guys taken out right away. Cell revitalization finishes up, and we are going to go for army damage next. We grow cool. ever stronger. So that puts us at 81 of 84 star bases. We're obviously going to be over our star base cap. There's no doubt about that. The question is, by how many? And can we get rid of some other star bases to deal with it? This one is obviously going to exist to protect this wormhole. Okay. So that's all underway. Of course, our highest priority right now is restoring our fleet. And we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more star bases here. And we've got three capacity. Gotcha. We've got a strategic coordination center hull here somewhere. I'm going to buy in a few alloys. I sold them. I'm going to buy in a few alloys. I did that very wrong. I need to pay more attention, clearly. Where is that strategic coordination center hull at? This one's fully upgraded. 
Because, yeah, it looks to me like there's one strategic coordination center somewhere that's not this one. Okay. So that's definitely something that we want to work on in Abaka. We may want to downgrade the Aja station. As long as we stay over, like, 3,000 naval cap, I think we're reasonably okay with it. So, other locations would be, like, that's a trade hub. Other locations would be, like, Maya here that we would downgrade. And then Magum Station, we would downgrade that as well. Ejok, we would downgrade. We are at 2940, so for now, we'll call that good. That gives us some additional space. Not enough, but some additional space. And we'll continue to reinforce our fleets. We only need 165,000 more at this point. So that's fantastic. We're really, really happy about that. Now we're going to have these, like, 11 finishing up momentarily. That'll put us well over our starbase cap, for sure. We grow ever stronger. Excellent. We grow ever stronger. So these are all finishing up. We grow ever stronger. Now, one thing we could think about doing is issuing an edict about uh, fortress proclamation, perhaps. Uh, no, that's defense platform build speed. I was thinking that that gave us additional star bases, like star base cap, but no, it does not. Is that something up here? Fortify the border? Yes. Okay, we'll go ahead and run Fortify the Border for now. That'll bring us up to 86. That gets us very close. We need two more. We'll downgrade Bahiram and Tadaska. That should get us where we need to be. This station is not connected to our trade network. That's to be expected, actually. We should send a uh, construction ship out over here. We grow and build ourselves stronger. a gateway construction site. We grow ever so we'll get that stronger. underway. And then this should put us at 86 of 86. We're 2825, we but we do have this strategic coordination center that we can continue to upgrade for additional starbase cap or we and naval cap as well. Stronger. So we can replace we those anchorages later stronger. if we want to. And that'll be absolutely fine. For now, we are definitely making our way through getting these repairs finished up. We need 354 more ships. We're going to be at 2629. So our cap is 250. We'll be slightly over cap if we build another fleet. I definitely do want to build another fleet. There's no doubt about it. We do need to sell off our minerals, and so we shall. Excellent. Okay, so this is going very well. We're going to get these upgrades going, but they're a low priority for the moment. This station is not connected to our trade network either. Technically, this is also a, a bit of an exclave. So we're going to queue up an additional gateway construction site once we're done here. And we're going to have that be out over this way. There we go. Cool. These guys believe that we belong in the dustbin of history. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I imagine that the League is fairly upset at us for handily winning the war that they declared on us. Granted, if that war had kept going, we probably would have lost. I suspect economically they're in a slightly better situation than we are. But actually, we're doing pretty well economically right now. We'll need to improve it before the next war. But we're doing okay. Let's check through our jobs one last time here. Let's see. We need a, a job in this foundry station. And to that end, I would love to put in... Actually, we do have a Ministry of Production right now. We could put in an industrial district, for, but for the moment, I'm going to go for an alloy mega forge instead. This forge world here, alloy nanoplate. Excellent. What else do we have here? This generator world doesn't really do much. 
we've kind of got a food processing facility here. I mean, kind of. We definitely have a food processing facility here. They also lost their job, so I don't know where that went. Maybe they migrated somewhere. But I think that we're going to replace this with a Ministry of Production. We're also going to replace these two mining districts with industrial districts. There we go. Cool. So what else do we have going on down here? This agro world requires a planetary administration. This mining world, a planetary administration. It really shouldn't be a mining world. This generator world, a planetary administration. This generator world, a planetary administration. This urban world has a lot of housing. For right now, it needs jobs. And we want to put in a Ministry of Production. And we want to put in an Alloy Foundry. We're going to swap it off of an urban world and put it into a Forge world. There we go. Fantastic. We're full on consumer goods. We need to sell those off. And we're going to use those proceeds to buy in a few alloys. Cool. And with that, we are going to build more ships. And with that, it is also time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are, I think, going to come very, very close, if not fully finish off getting our ships repaired. Actually, I, I expect that we're going to get all of our ships replaced next episode for sure. And we're going to work on our defenses for a bit in preparation for the next war. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.